Hi guys, this is Matthias coming at you here with the Run and Gun Beast, the SMG 08. And yeah, it is a beast as long as you play on PC and you can handle it. Because on console, this weapon does not seem to be all that popular. Less than 4% of the SMG usage is this weapon, which obviously can be explained by the fact that this game is mostly nowadays played on console, while PC players for the most part have moved on to other games. As I'm sure you know, there are a lot more games to choose from if you use the platform PC. Now the one thing that makes this weapon stand out is of course its big magazine size. It's not the biggest among the SMGs, but this one does so without any drawback except for the handling. However, once you know how to handle the weapon, the drawbacks are neglectable. Well, at least if you compare to most other SMGs. Now the important thing to understand about the SMG-8 is that it does not in any way stand out in a regular one versus one. CQZ versus another experienced assault, you should not in any way be surprised if you lose to any of the automaticos or any of the shotguns. Add a little bit of range to it and both the MP weapons and the Heldriegel are better, at least in my opinion. Because once you start shooting past, I don't know, let's say 25 meters or so, the weapon handling actually starts playing a big role, even if you know how to handle it. However, if you're good with this weapon and you win most of your engagements, you can just continue to win and win and win your engagements, and you can do so for quite a long time before you need to reload. And even then, the reloading time of the SMG-8 isn't all that troublesome. So yeah, in the hands of an experienced player, a player that really likes this type of playstyle, the SMG-8 is a run and gun beast. Now, another thing that I want to mention, and you'll see that a little bit later on in the video, is that any weapon that has a big magazine size is really good for flanking. Meaning, if you can surprise people from oh, the, the side or from down. behind, you can just mow down a big group of enemies before they have a chance to react to it. And for that, you need to be able to shoot a lot of bullets without reloading. However, at certain ranges, this weapon is just useless. And in this case, I was lucky enough to pick up an LMG. Of course, I did pick it up in order to resupply myself. And yeah, mission accomplished. Now with the weapons such as this, there's always the question, when do you have to aim down sight and when can you continue hip firing? Now for me, many times when I've explained this, I always talk about the importance of knowing the range. And the SMG-8 is pretty good at hip firing at ranges up until let's say 15 meters. However, in many cases, the most important factor is not the range itself. It's actually whether or not you risk being shot by your enemy or not. Many times dodging is a lot more important than how quickly you can kill your opponent or to be more specific, how many bullets you have to shoot before your opponent goes down. Because if you hip fire, especially if you hip fire past 10-15 meters, a lot of bullets are going to miss and it's gonna take longer before your enemy goes down. But that can many times be worth it if you can stay alive longer just because you're moving faster while hip firing. Don't ever underestimate the importance of dodging enemy bullets. So, as of now, I have about 5,000 kills with this weapon, and I'm aiming for those 100 service stars, meaning that I'm basically halfway there. Now, it didn't take long before people started to throw a lot of shit towards players using this weapon. This is a constant thing among assault weapons. Any weapon that is popular in this class always gets frowned upon. The SMG-8 is no exception. Either way, I really hope that you will enjoy the rest of this video. My name is Matthias. And I want to thank you all for watching. We have an armored train en route. We have an armored train. I guess we could use an armored train. I don't think it's going to help that much, though. Good, Emma. How are you doing? Yes. Oh, 
I have no idea how I'm still alive. How did I survive all that? Ninety two hit. Halfway there, the enemy has hand. Losing objective butter. We have lost. That was a little bit too many. No, I was shooting the flame trooper. Damn, son. <laughs> 